in the context of the fact that it became very obvious that our system and our way to live leads right away in a dead end, I got interested in the topic of witches. Because as we all know, witches did not exist. They were uh, a construction of a crisis, or at least uh, one could say that at the high point of the witch hunt, which uh, was taking place in 16th and 17th century Europe, this construction became very relevant and this matrix of discrimination, hunting and killing was elaborated. So women were persecuted as uh, witches if they weren't following the standards that someone else created to control them. And uh, for me that's a direct link to performance art because um, if performance uh, art wants to exceed uh, everyday actions, it has to break standards uh, constantly. So basically performance art couldn't be conventional uh, even if it wanted to and that's something I'm very grateful for. In uh, 2015 I visited the grave of my grandfather and um, I dug it out with my bare hands to wash myself with its earth. Um, some years later when my grandmother died I committed some of her hair to a glass dome which is mirrored to the outside but also to the inside and then I created a copy and a copy of the copy of this piece. Um, and then there was this uh, friend of mine who um, entrusted me with the bones of uh, an unknown man or woman. Uh, and so I created my own casket uh, and uh, committed the bones uh, to it. Um, and when I die, we will share our final space together, um, not knowing whom we will be buried with. This work came to life when I was studying the role of light in the art history and especially within the practices of sculpture making. This piece, Is Uncle Dreams Beyond Repair, basically is a new translation of the vision of Ezekiel and it's uh, put in our situation and nowadays situation and it's basically made out of different elements and each of the, these elements that are quite truthful in a sense to his vision as in for instance in his vision there was uh, there were four angels they were carrying the, the throne of God. I invited six artists to uh, respond to this question how are the underlying conditions which were created uh, back then are still reverberating in our present. And um, we have a field of tension created by Neda Saidi with two different uh, works. One shows, um, uh, deals with the church which was not only a master of ceremony of the historical witch hunts, but which was really delivering and conceiving um, the, uh, providing the ideology. Uh, and on the other hand, uh, the nation states, in the form of capitalism, um, uh, and we have a more recent uh, example of the 1970s in Iran, where a nomadic tribe uh, was supposed or was forced to settle uh, and um, yeah and to start wage labor with disastrous effects on the environment on the animals and and humans i am lying down here motionless static displayed for your aesthetic pleasure i am of no use I am an object, raw, gray, my body cracks, I crack. Uh, so between these two works we have some attempts to disrupt 
the, the logic which inspires us until today or who, which is canalizing our actions, our thinking, our, um, our knowledge. And these are uh, made by uh, Esther Strauss who um, shares with us a very unsettling and, um, and unprotected question of how we could uh, potentially rethink our relation to the dead, to our ancestors, who we would conceive as our ancestors. Um, so maybe we can broaden the community, uh, our community, and um, yes, and to, to ask how we want to organize life of the living and the dead, the uh, animate and inanimate. We also have a, a work by Joachim Köster who uh, proposes um, a vocabulary of movements drawing back on Carlos Castaneda's attempts to uh, escape or to open Western knowledge systems um, in um, allowing our body to take uh, the lead or through training of movements to, um, to get closer to uh, sensing, to intuiting and uh, for allowing us to escape the categorizational system that uh, let us just see and subsume everything until, uh, under the categories that we know already. Pauline Cournier Jardin rewrites the grammar of reproduction in her video, Cancent Impure, where she confronts us with women after menopause who start to bleed heavily. So the period is uh, re entering their bodies, but not in order to make them. Um, available for giving birth and uh, to conceive, but rather the opposite. The bleeding occurs when uh, sexual attraction is involved and this um, uh, sexual attraction is caused by young men who then get killed by these women in their murderous lust. So this is, uh, was also a topic in the witch hunts that witches were um, said to rather kill children instead of giving uh, life and on the other hand also to make men impotent. So we have these, uh, somehow she spells out the worst fears of patriarchy in this uh, video. So then, of course, as these women killed uh, these young men, they have to go into prison, but also there they find ways to live their sexuality uh, freely. And uh, yeah, they do not seem so oppressed. Uh, somehow one gets the, uh, the impression that being freed from the dictate of uh, having this duty of reproductive labor allows them for recontrolling their own bodies, their knowledge, their sexuality. Something which was meant to be crushed um, by the witch hunts. And the exhibition ends with a witch's kitchen uh, by Angela Anderson and Anna Hofner ex Provolovich who investigated the uh, questions of the exhibition for the specific context of this region where the exhibition takes place, so Tirol. And uh, they asked like how do these uh, infrastructures reverberate uh, 
today in rural capitalism? Where are we at? How, uh, if we look, for example, at the harvest workers? As you enter the installation, you see excerpts of the Hammer of the Witches, which was the legal text written in the late 1400s, which serves as the basis for the witch hunts, describing how to identify witches, how they should be tortured in order to uh, extract information, and then how they should be executed. Ein Teil der Wand Installation besteht aus einer Analyse der kulturellen Zeichen, die Reproduktion und Landarbeit miteinander verbinden. So haben wir Gemüsewerbungen neben sehr bekannte Instrumente für Abtreibung wie den Kleiderbügel und Stricknadel gehängt, ein nachgemachtes Erbhofschild neben ein goldenes Plakat, das an die Ausstellungs- ähm, an die Ausstellungsarchitektur aus dem Museum Goldenen Dachel erinnert und die Erbschaftspolitik Österreichs thematisiert, die auch eine lange Geschichte hat. Neben diesen Zeichen haben wir eine Zusammenstellung von Archivmaterial aus den Archiven des AEP und des AFLZ zusammengestellt. Darin sind die Aktivistin Doris Linzer zu sehen, sowie andere Aktivistinnen, die gegen den Paragraphen 144 Unterschriften gesammelt haben sowie Aneignungsversuche der Hexenfigur durch Hexenfeste, aber auch Demonstrationen gegen den Papst und gegen die katholische Kirche in den 90er Jahren, die an die, ähm, die, an die hohe Anzahl von ermordeten Frauen wegen, während der Hexenverfolgung erinnert haben. We have, we are ending somehow with a very pessimistic view on the present, but also with a kind of hope um, or at least uh, let's say a call for action and for, for struggle to get out of um, the conditions that uh, we created and that we live in.